I am. I'm joining. Mm -hmm. I'm joining the gang as a series regular. It's pretty exciting. We don't know who this guy is at the end of the year, at the end of season four. We don't, and then he comes back in season five. Whether Addison has made up her mind to not see him or not doesn't matter because he uh, he has his own his own deal. Turns out he's got a name. He's got a profession. <laughs> He's got an agenda. <laughs> he's got he's got it all. Yeah. And part of his agenda might still be trying to be getting close to you, it's true. which kind of complicates your life. It will. Yeah, and but I, and I, you don't give up easily. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not easily thwarted. Uh, I come on as Dr. Jake Riley, and it turns out that I'm a fertility specialist, which of course adds a little bit of interesting complication to whatever she's doing. Yeah, they're committing to it. We're going to see she's going to get a baby, even if it's going to be all. Raising Arizona style. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I don't think she'll steal one. Um, but yeah, she's got it. She's. I think she you're gonna see yeah, Addison yeah. in one way or another get a baby, and it'll be an interesting journey. And and I hope to be there to help her yeah. with that in one way or another. We leave off the season finale where Addison and the group commit to keeping it. They dig in. She runs the practice now. A lot of things have changed for her. She runs the practice. She's in therapy, which you get to see every episode. Um, and uh, there, you know, because her trust fund's financing the whole takeover, um, and there may or may not be a new name, and uh, so it's new beginnings all over, and uh, and lots of conflict. You can imagine it's a cooperative practice. There's going to be some conflict between her and the other people in the practice as well, as the you know ethical medical debates and cases that come in. But really, there seems to be a lot of issues with relationships and kids and children and. A lot of, lot of that theme kind of going through it. So as before, a good balance between you know the, the the kind of, uh, well the juicy interpersonal relationships that exist in, in her practice, and balanced with this really kind of wonderful uh, ethical and moral quandary that comes up with the, some of the medical issues they explore. I, I see most of my patients at a St. Ambrose. Interestingly enough. Uh, by coincidence, and they've never met. They've never passed. We never met in the in halls the hall there. Or met no. there so. Maybe were you well? Maybe we're using another hospital. Then you switched over to Ambrose. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm a new transplant. That's right. Maybe that's it. Chicago. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Because I'm like, how did I never see you? With IVF. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm having a blast. To be honest, it's really, really great. Uh, you know, we're we're new to the to the new season, so. Uh, no, look, the reality is it, it, it's great to have a, a gig with such great actors, good writing, um, and to be working with people who really understand that you know, they're lucky to be where they are, as, as any working actor is at the end of the day. And as, yeah. as, as someone who sort of leads the, leads the group, um, we've had a, a lot of fun so yeah. far. Yeah. More to come, I'm certain. Yeah.